Forest Spam, I'm Jackie from the University of Southern California and you're watching Pass the Ox. Today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite apps and widgets that you can use with Spotify. Now, I am not trying to slander Apple Music in any way, shape, or form with this video. However, I am trying to show you how much more you can do with Spotify. First off, not to hype Spotify up too much, but they do curate weekly playlists for you and they're just constantly giving you new stuff to listen to. Not to mention they also released the end of the year statistics of what you've listened to and everyone loves that. Everyone seems to flex it on social media, which makes sense because everyone has a superiority complex when it comes to music. And that makes sense because music is subjective and that is fine. All right, the first website or app and widget that I'm going to talk about is called Obscurify. Basically, it compares what you listen to to what other users have listened to, and it tells you how obscure your music taste is. I just checked the website, and it said that my music taste is 66% more obscure than other users. Now, this information, two years ago, it would have gone straight to my head, but now I get it. It's fine. I'm not like gonna let it boost my ego. I I hate that so much. Who cares if your music is 100% mainstream? Like it does not matter. Music is so subjective. Next, there's this website called Musicscapes. The information you get from these websites, I wouldn't say they're useful, but they're just more so interesting <laughs> and they're fun to compare with your friends. But my Musicscapes, it was purple. I'll put it right here. It's a really pretty color. Basically my caption said that my landscape is purple because I've been listening to a lot of songs that depict sad and angry emotions. And I have jagged mountains because I've been listening to energetic songs. And I have three mountains because I've been a very active listener in the last 24 hours. And it's daytime because I'm listening to it in major mode a lot. Again, this information does really nothing for me, but it's cool to see, interesting to see, kind of funny that it calls me out like that. The next one, it's called Last FM. It's my favorite website of all time. You don't have to have Spotify to use it. You can have literally any streaming platform and you should be able to connect Last FM with it. It is the best website ever. Basically, it scrobbles your tracks, which basically means that it tracks what you're listening to and it gives you either weekly, monthly, 180 days 365 days of just your statistics of what you've been listening to and it also gives you weekly reports here's mine it's pretty decent i don't know i just really love having all that information at the tip of my fingers and you're also able to get a monthly report but that's with last fm pro if you pay four dollars a month which i did for one month because i wanted to see what it looked like so here is my monthly report right here the best thing about Last FM is that it gives you so many daily recommendations. So unlike Spotify, it's not just a weekly occurrence. It's like daily you refresh the page, there's something new, which I love because I'm always listening to new music and I often run out of new stuff to listen to. So I love that. And I also love the fact that you can see what your friends have been listening to and see how your music taste compares to your friends. And if you guys have the same music taste it'll tell you like super high or like low compatibility which i think is really interesting um in your weekly reports it will give you your tags so mine are like usually indie alternative shoegaze dream pop and it'll tell you like how long you've listened to and it compares you to your friends which i love kind of it's kind of funny to see so i've been scrabbling on last fm since november of 2018 and i have 37,014 scrabbles at this point pretty big number kind of cool i think this year i have like 14,000 scrabbles so i've listened to 14,000 songs in hindsight that is not that much all right this next widget app it's called festify it creates three music festivals for you based on your spotify listening history which i think is really cool and my headliners were beach house mac demarco the strokes arcade fire and kanye west let me know in the comments if you would go to this festival because i most definitely would this next one isn't related to spotify at all but it's still a really cool website and i definitely recommend that you check it out it's called themagicipod.com i'll link it in the description 
it is so fun. I was so captivated by this website for literally hours. It takes the best songs from 2007 and mashes them together into a masterpiece. I kid you not, this website is magical. Go check it out. All right, B4S fam, that is a wrap. Thank you for tuning in to Pass the Ox and make sure you go and check out these websites, go explore them and come back and comment your results and I wanna hear all about them. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time. I'm <laughs> sorry.